paaralan ang nagsisilong pangalawang tirahan sa mga munting mag-aaral. Kung kaya't kailangan natin ng isang maayos na learning environment dahil isa ito sa nagbibigay ng inspirasyon at motibasyon sa mga mag-aaral upang maging aktibo at interesado sa kanilang pag-aaral. A safe and conducive learning environment sets the stage for effective teaching and learning. Students thrive when they feel safe, supported, and engaged, leading to improved academic achievement and personal growth. By prioritizing these aspects, educators can create an environment that nurtures students' overall well-being and fosters a lifelong love of learning. Ngunit, paano nga ba natin buhin ang isang maayos na klasang environment? Ito ang ating tatanungin at susuungin sa paglalakbay na ito. Ako nga pala si Rainier Paolo DJ Likwalan at ito ang biyahe ni Pao. Tatalakayin natin ang mga hakbang at pamamaraan upang matiyak na ang ating kapaligiran sa pag-aaral ay ligtas at maayos. Because a positive learning environment not only contributes to academic progress but also fosters emotional and social development. It is a responsibility of educators, administrators, and all stakeholders involved to ensure that schools and classrooms are safe and offer an atmosphere that promotes learning and growth. Our first stop is a typical classroom setup. Ito ay ang pinakaimportanting lugar kung saan nagaganap ang ating learning experiences. Joining us today are Kabiyahero, Ma'am Imelda Custudio, an experienced educator who will share some practical and feasible classroom routines and procedures. Ma'am, this is the first question. Being a teacher, how would you manage your classroom? What are some of the effective routines and procedures that you apply in your classroom? Okay, so as a teacher, <coughs> teaching for 15 years, I usually orient my student during the very first day of class. Because for me, it is effective that you give your rules and regulations, tell your students the do's and don'ts for them to know what they have to do during your class. Tell them what we expect from them and they should know what are what they are expecting from you as a subject teacher. I hope we found this study is helpful for our own classroom management. Remember, every classroom is a unique so it's important to find routines and procedures that work best for you and your students. Classroom management takes time and effort but the reward of an organized productive Learning environment are definitely worth it. Second question, ma'am. Um, as a teacher, it's essential to create an environment where every student is actively involved in their learning journey. In such cases, how can you make your lessons applicable to everyone? Can you share some of your strategies? Uh, so, you're asking to make the lessons relevant to all, right? Okay, so I see to it that the activities are suited in every level of level of intelligence of every student. Because as you all know, individuals are unique. So you have to suit the activities to your students uh, as much as possible, provide an activity which uh, which they can easily understand the direction. So direction should be given clear. One of the key reasons why it is important to make lessons applicable to everyone is to address the concept of equity in education. Equity means providing each student with the necessary resources and support to achieve their full potential. Lahat ng bata ay may iba't ibang estilo kung paano matuto. Kung kaya't bilang guro, kailangan nating siguraduhin na ang bawat lesson na ituturo natin ay naangkop sa ating mga estudyante. Ang guro, alam namin madami na kayong nakanda na estudyante. Ma'am, how do you engage your students in all learning objectives? Usually, aside from the daily routine, uh, classroom lecture, 
there are times that I employ games. Diba? It is fun. It is important to have fun while learning. So usually, uh, we do bingo games. Bingo, not to the sense na may sugal na ganap, hindi ah. So there are questions involved, patterns to be formed, but at least they are enjoying while learning. And also, every time they participate, they recite during my class, they have incentives or additional points are given. Engaging students in all learning activities requires a multifaceted approach that considers their individual needs, interest, and learning styles. By creating a positive classroom culture, using a variety of teaching strategies, making learning relevant, providing opportunities for active learning, encouraging collaboration, offering choices and autonomy, providing timely feedback, and creating a supportive learning community. Educators can effectively engage their students and promote a love for learning. Bukod sa mga guro, ang mga kapo mag-aaral ay naglalaro rin ng mahalagang papel sa pagbuo ng isang positibong learning environment. Ang ating classmate ay may malaking parte, lalo na sa pagkikipag-ugnayan sa isa't isa, magbahagi ng mga ideya at magtulungan sa mga gawain. Sa pamamagitan ng pagkakaroon ng isang malasakit at respeto sa bawat isa, ang mga mag-aaral ay nagkakaroon ng isang sense of belongingness at nagiging mas motivado sa kanilang pag-aaral. Nagkita ng biyahe ito, tayo ay nabigyan ng kalaman na ito ay hindi lamang tungkol sa mga tao, kundi pati rin sa mga physical aspekto ng kapaligiran. Ang mga silid-aralan na malinis, mayos at may sapat na kagamitan ay nabibigay ng komportabling lugar para sa mga mag-aaral na matuto at mag-focus sa kanilang mga gawain. Dahil dito, ang mga mag-aaral ay nabibigyan ng pagkakataon na magpamalas ng kanilang mga kagayaan at talino. To all educators, it is crucial for us to create a positive and supportive learning environment that nurtures students' growth, fosters their love for learning, and empowers them to reach their full potential. By recognizing the importance of the learning environment and actively working to create a positive one, we can create transformative educational experience for our students.